Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of February 7th to February 13th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead, and go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say, if this reading resonates, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right. Let's start. Spirit, angels, and guides, show me the energy of Sagittarius in regards to love for this week. All right, Sagittarius, so let's take a look. First card we have is Three of Pentacles in Reverse, Page of Wands, Four of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Cups upright, Sun in Reverse, and the Magician upright. At the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay, let me take a look. All right. So I do feel like there is um you're coming up uh, you're coming up as a lot of pages here, Sagittarius. Your energy is coming up as a page here. I feel like you're turning into a magician, though. I will say that. I feel like you're going from a page to a magician. So you're going from a place of needy, neediness, right? Pages can be a little bit needy or codependent. And you're moving to a place of independence with the magician card and uh, a place of or an energy of you standing in your power. Even though you don't feel that great with the sun in reverse. So I do feel like there's a, there's a lot of things here that are, that are upside down with the three of pentacles in reverse. You might feel like you're receiving rejection from someone with the four of cups in reverse. You're not on the same page with someone. There's a lot of differences. Some of you have been waiting for someone to communicate with you and you haven't been receiving anything. Um, and I feel like, oh, sorry for that car. I feel like with the Eight of Cups, I feel like some of you are just ready to walk away from something. You've Maybe you've spent too much time and energy into someone or something. And you're realizing that, you know, it's not helping you. It's not serving you to keep, to keep being involved in an energy that never grows. So I feel like you're moving into this magician energy, into this energy of um, empowerment, you know, kind of self-empowerment. And with the three of wands, it's like you're you're trying to be optimistic about your future and about new possibilities and new beginnings that that might that might be waiting for you in the future. Because I do feel like there was someone here with the page of cups that you were really interested in. You might even have been obsessed about. 
but I feel like things did not work out. For whatever reason, it just, it didn't come together, it didn't manifest, and I feel like you've been in an, you've been living in an energy of disappointment and of sadness in regards to this situation or person, but I feel like you're getting out of it and you're becoming self-empowered. All right. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to move now to the energy of your person, Sagittarius, whoever's on your mind. Let's see what their energy is for this week. All right, spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, let's see. First card we have for your person here is the Three of Pentacles. Oh, look at that. Same card. Same card as you. The Ace of Cups upright. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse. The Magician in reverse. And the Ten of Swords in reverse. At the bottom, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this, this feels to me like someone who wants to be with you, wants to have a new beginning with you, but they're not um, available to give you that new they're not available to have that relationship with you. There might be a third party situation in the picture. Yeah, they might be involved with somebody else or they just don't feel like they have the personal stability. Let me see, we have the hero font here. All right, let me get three. Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Ooh, this is also stubbornness also is ego, ego and stubbornness. Six of Pentacles. So this is someone who doesn't want to admit their their faults also. This is someone who's trying to hide their faults or hide their their lackings, whatever it is that they're, they're lacking. This is someone who feels intimidated. They feel inferior. They don't. They feel like they're. They don't have anything to offer you. They feel like they can't offer you what they want to offer you. Hmm. You might be dealing with someone young here or someone who acts young, immature, or they're young in age. Because they feel inexperienced for some reason. Their energy feels a little bit inexperienced, almost like, it, like if they don't have a lot of experiences in in relationships or in commitments i feel like this is someone who has been bouncing around from person to person or if they've had relationships it's been kind of short their energy just feels overall very um 
ignorant or naive. Because I don't feel like there's a real obstacle here, except a third party, but I don't feel like the third party is significant. I feel like, I don't feel like there's a real obstacle here. I feel like the obstacle is this person's maturity level, you know? They're just, they're just not mature enough to, to have a new beginning with someone like you who's a lot more mature. Or that's the way they see you because I feel like they're intimidated by you for some reason. I feel like they see you as someone superior to them in some way. Might be in age, might be financially or in career, work. I feel like they see you as someone superior. All right, let me clarify the... Tell me what the Three of Pentacles is doing here, Spirit. Oh, yeah, Two of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone who is interested in having a relationship with you and ha having a equal 50-50 relationship with you. The Three of Swords, okay. There's, again, there's a third party situation that's creating a blockage or an, an obstacle, a challenge. Or there's some kind of heartbreak that occurred between you two that is still like the wound is still open and it's it, it created a, a a separation between you two but you two are still not over it whatever happened in the past between you two or is or it could just be like there's just some obstacle some challenge it some challenge that doesn't make it possible for you two to come together. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? This is definitely someone who feels guilty. They feel guilty and they feel regretful for what they haven't been able to offer you. Very weak. This is someone who's very weak in their energy and just very like uh, helpless, you know. This is someone who needs to kind of grow more confidence in themselves and grow more like uh, be more courageous and more brave because I feel like they're just very shy or timid or scared and weak overall just very weak in their energy um, but they might be hiding it with a lot of e with their ego or their arrogance might be or stubbornness they might be covering up their vulnerabilities but i do feel like this is someone who feels like they're out of their league like they're out of your league Yeah, because they feel, again, they feel inferior to you. And I feel like overall, this is just someone who doesn't have the confidence, like, to, to put themselves out there 100%. I feel like they're just kind of hiding. They're hiding and they're being kind of passive in their energy. All right, I'm going to continue this reading now in, this, in the extended Sagittarius. And I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's real feelings for you? What are their real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. Um, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.